it doesn't so much differ from what I've done in the past, but it's a culmination of everything I've done in the past. Right, and record. Uh, it's on tonight. I was inspired by a premier vocalist, like Sherilyn, uh, was a big inspiration to me growing up. Donna Summer. Uh, dance songs. I, I like to dance. I want to move. I want a, a song to make me want to move. Um, one of the things that I notice in the indie soul scene is that, you know, there's a very mellow quality to the music. And I didn't grow up listening to everything that was mellow. I grew up listening to things that made you want to move your ass. So the primary inspiration behind It's On Tonight was to create a song that made me want to dance like how I used to see my big sisters and my mom dancing in the early 80s, something would come on and they jump up. And there are songs to this day that are from that era where they come on no matter where you are. People jump up and they move. I feel that there's a level of honesty that I'm bringing in this album and hopefully in the future albums that I feel not so much as lacking, but would be refreshing right now. I spent a number of years singing with some bands, some were independent, uh, original bands. I spent, spent time singing with some cover bands, singing in Atlantic City. Um, I've traveled abroad, I've done the jazz fest in the Caribbean, and I was basically using that experience to draw upon for this album and to gain some experience singing with live bands. I definitely prefer singing with live musicians as opposed to singing to a track. So a good singer has the the power, has the, the gift to make anything into a song, into something beautiful. And the music itself keeps me motivated. I, I love the songs. I love what I'm doing, I love being able to create music. That in and of itself keeps me motivated. Sometimes a song will come to you in entirety, and it's just there, and that's the way it is. Sometimes a hook might come to me, and the verses don't, because you don't grow unless you're challenged. And there might be a review. I mean, it's important to me. Critical feedback is is always important. It's very very important because. As an artist, when you're trying to create something, you, you tend to live in, in your own little bubble. You, the one thing about this project is, if I was working from music as opposed to working from a melody I came up with, I try to let the song talk to me and tell me what it wanted to say. And I know that sounds really weird and you know hokey, but it's true. Sometimes, as an artist, if you sit down and you listen to a song, you listen to a track, there's a feeling that it'll give you and, and, and it's telling you something and you're interpreting what the song is saying to you.